Good morning, folks. Mount Etna continues to be the most active volcano in Europe. For scale perspective, this is not slowed down. It's real time, just taking a long time for those rocks to travel the distances propelled by the volcano itself. Great shots here of embers against the night. Now north of that, winds topping 120 miles per hour ripped across the islands here. Scotland took the worst of it. We'll come back to weather in a moment, but first, Cassini's new shots of the hexagon north pole of Saturn. Not a new bit of data, but probably the most in-depth and detailed images. Those older Saturn shots can be found with the article below. The star water backup evidence seems to come out every day. This Ceres ice data reminded me of a similar article I read back in 2010 about the ice ball Pluto possibly having liquid oceans beneath. Most people don't even know Pluto is an ice ball. Every planet, every star, and in addition to the star water series on the website, every link and citation for all the best star water articles is nicely compiled at the links page of the website. So even if you're not an observer, you can still access all the facts and knowledge. Last Good Space article here describes the form of a gamma ray burst, how it would look from the side, and then again coming right at Earth. Really good gamma link there. Back to weather, the tropical development near Sumatra and in India didn't materialize, but the rainmakers are still highly active in that region. Also watching what's trekking up the Atlantic, got eyes there. Tropical danger shows the Bay of Bengal, South China Sea, Indian Ocean, and West Pacific as the tropic watch zones in descending order of likelihood. As I sat on my porch yesterday in a t-shirt, thought I could hear all the observers west of me laughing about the weather I'd soon be seeing. Now the heat I enjoyed drove up the leading east edge of that low pressure convergence. However, the counterclockwise pull into the center drives the outer boundary winds into the inward converging winds from perpendicular or opposite directions. Temperature map now much clearer once you've looked at the wind map. Australia and New Zealand, I didn't forget about you, just got much easier going tonight. Might see some new showers tomorrow. New gamma burst last night came way down out of celestial south from the Carina constellation. We have slight rises visible on both the neutron and muon monitors, but it's actually following a slight dip and even that rise doesn't take us out of normal range as we look in longer time scales. Cosmic rays steady as she goes. We have no major solar wind shocks, or minor ones for that matter. Minor variation in density and speed leaving the KP index near the floor along with geomagnetic instability. Solar flaring is starting to come back a bit. They are only sea range and not earth facing and favoring the limb instead. Depressingly simple magnetics in such a large and morphing group here. Largest sea flare we've taken so far came from this one turning in. Appears to lack major sunspots, but as you'll see at the end, not lacking magnetic fields. The coronal magnetics were a puzzling feature the last three days. The coronal hole power, of course, is rising strongly as it turns away from our planet. As you can see, with that hole turning away, the megafilament up to the north of it has destabilized and released. It could give us a glancing blow, but it wouldn't be a big one. Best shots of our star since the SDO processing glitches? Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.